Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video tonight. We're comparing these two waters. First up is Momentum, purified drinking water with added electrolytes and minerals. Next up is Circle K, purified drinking water. And these are both from the store Circle K, and these are both bottled by Niagara. So I have a feeling that the pH test that I'm about to do is going to have the same color. So I've got this dropper. I'm going to just drop some uh, stuff in here to see the you know, pH level. And like I said, these are both bottled by Niagara. So I just have a feeling that the color is going to be the same. So here we go. I think I was right. They look pretty close to me in color. Um, here's the pH you know, levels. I'm colorblind, but you know, you, got, you guys judge for yourself. What color do you think they are? To me, they look like a six. They both look like a six to me. So like I was saying, these are both from the store Circle K, and these are both distributed by Circle K, and they're both bottled by Niagara. And obviously this is the cheaper version. This is the more expensive, like overpriced version with a thicker bottle. Um, this is your standard, typical Niagara bottle. Here's like a Giant Eagle bottle. It's, you know, very, very similar feels pretty basically the same and it's probably sourced from the same location and then this is just thicker like a smart water type of bottle these are both very boring waters like they just have a picture of water on them <laughs> and standard niagara text on them the most interesting thing about this is there's like an opening you can see through this one part of the bottle with the logo around it um, and I mean, Momentum, that's a fine name. It's like, it gives you momentum to run faster or something. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just very, very bland. And I was kind of researching Circle K, the store itself. And I've come to the conclusion that it's a very bland store. There's nothing exciting about it at all. I couldn't find anything really interesting to tell you guys. Um, so let's just open these up and do a taste test comparison. This thicker Momentum bottle was about $1.50 per bottle. And I think it's overpriced, but let's, let's taste it and find out. Tastes... Very bland, like the store itself. Uh, it's very sort of similar to Smart Water. You know, I think when they just use standard waters, I think the main taste difference is the plastic itself. Um, well, let's just try this one, Circle K Purified Water. Yeah, there's like a slight, slight difference, but it, if I was going back, if I was not going back and forth, I wouldn't like really notice. And if I wasn't even thinking about it, I wouldn't notice at all. There's nothing that has a strong, distinct difference between the two of them. They're both very similar. Um, so this is $1.50 per bottle. This is $4 for a 24 pack. Um, it's more expensive, but... Uh, they don't have the added electrolytes. The momentum water, the ingredients are purified water, calcium chloride, and sodium bicarbonate. And this, you know, they both have zero carbs, zero calories, zero fats, zero protein. Just all standard water stuff. That's all, that's all good. The source of this water is Hamburg, PA, and it's just from a municipal water supply. <laughs> it's not, not a spring water, nothing fancy about it. They're both... Both of these are purified with reverse osmosis. So really they're the same waters, just this has extra calcium chloride and sodium bicarbonate, whatever that stuff is. So th that makes like a slight, slight, tiny difference in the taste, but you're paying many times more for, for this one. I don't know the, the exact percentage higher, but it's several times higher. So let's just... You know, finish them up.
Circle K. This is the first time I've ever been to a Circle K, actually, buying these waters. There are three in Pittsburgh, the town I'm in. But there are actually over 8,000 Circle Ks around the world. Uh, I think a little bit under 4,000 of those are in the United States. So it's a huge store. I'm, it gets kind of surprising. I've never even been inside of one. Uh, some of them are gas stations. Some of them are convenience stores. Just a mix. Um, it used to be the largest non-franchise uh, convenience store in the United States in the in the 80s. But that's kind of dropped down, I guess. Now it's the fourth largest. And it's basically it. I read through their whole Wikipedia page. There's like nothing super interesting to tell you guys. There's no like major incident in their history. There's nothing funny anecdotes to tell you guys. Like, the most interesting thing is they sponsor a NASCAR car. Circle K does. That's, that's about it. It's pretty bland. No no huge controversies in their past. Like the, 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 the main Wikipedia page is just like a timeline. And this year they bought some stores. And this year they sold some stores. And this year they declared bankruptcy and some other company bought them. Like, it's all just boring stuff. So, they really, you know, are very similar. I'm just going to actually say that the cheaper one is better. Because the taste is so close that I'm going to give it to the cheaper one just because it's a better value. Because, <laughs> like, there's nothing bad or great about either of them. I mean, I actually... I bought three of these in case it won... No. So I have more of these ready if it had one for the next round, but um, but the cheap one, the cheap one is the winner. So congratulations, Circle K. Moving on to the next round.